Symbiax is a combination of two drugs, olanzapine and fluoxetine. It is used to treat depression associated with bipolar disorder and depression that has not responded to other medications. This medication may help you sleep, improve your mood, improve your concentration, and decrease nervousness. It works by helping to restore the balance of certain natural substances in the brain. It's important to talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of treatment, especially if it's being used in teenagers. It's best to take Symbiax at the same time every day, with or without food. Remember to follow your doctor's instructions carefully for the best results. Before starting Symbiax, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food as directed by your doctor, usually once daily in the evening. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Use this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. It may take up to several weeks before the full benefit of this drug takes effect, so keep taking it even if you feel well. Do not stop taking Symbiax without consulting your doctor, as some conditions may become worse when the drug is abruptly stopped. If your condition lasts or gets worse, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Some common side effects of Symbiax may include dizziness, lightheadedness, drowsiness, diarrhea, dry mouth, constipation, increased appetite, weight gain, or trouble sleeping. If any of these side effects persist or worsen, it is important to notify your doctor or pharmacist promptly. Dizziness and lightheadedness can increase the risk of falling, so it's important to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the risks. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to inform your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, including mental-slash-mood changes, swelling of the hands-slash-ankles-slash-feet, restlessness, shaking, changes in sexual ability, trouble urinating, easy bleeding or bruising, muscle spasm, yellowing of the eyes-slash-skin, severe stomach or abdominal pain, slow heartbeat, interrupted breathing during sleep, black stools, severe headache, seizures, or vision changes. Additionally, this medication may cause a rise in blood sugar, leading to or worsening diabetes. It may also cause significant weight gain and an increase in blood cholesterol levels, especially in teenagers. It's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits of treatment with your doctor. Symbiacs may also increase serotonin levels and rarely cause a serious condition called serotonin syndrome toxicity. It's important to seek medical help if you develop symptoms such as fast heartbeat, hallucinations, severe dizziness, severe nausea-slash-vomiting-slash-diarrhea, or unexplained fever. Rarely, this medication may cause a serious condition known as neuroleptic malignant syndrome, NMS, which requires immediate medical attention if symptoms such as fever, muscle stiffness, severe confusion, or irregular heartbeat occur. Other rare side effects may include a condition called tardive dyskinesia, an increase in prolactin levels, and in males, a painful or prolonged erection lasting four or more hours. If any of these symptoms occur, it's important to inform your doctor immediately. In very rare cases, a serious allergic reaction to Symbiax may occur. If you experience symptoms such as fever, swollen lymph nodes, rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek immediate medical help. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed above, it's essential to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Antidepressant medications like Symbiax are used to treat conditions such as depression and other mental-slash-mood disorders. They can help prevent suicidal thoughts and provide other important benefits. However, it's important to be aware that a small number of people, especially those younger than 25, may experience worsening depression or other mental-slash-mood symptoms when taking antidepressants. It's crucial to discuss the risks and benefits with a doctor, especially for younger individuals. If you notice worsening depression, unusual behavior changes, or other mental-slash-mood changes, such as anxiety, panic attacks, or trouble sleeping, it's important to inform the doctor right away. Pay special attention to these symptoms when starting a new antidepressant or when the dose is changed. For older adults with dementia, there may be a slightly increased risk of serious side effects when using Symbiacs, such as stroke, heart failure, fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, or pneumonia. 
It's important to discuss the risks and benefits of this medication with the doctor, as it is not approved for the treatment of dementia-related behavior problems. Consider other effective and possibly safer treatments for dementia-related behavior problems. Before taking Symbiax, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. It's important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have a history of certain conditions such as bleeding problems, breast cancer, kidney disease, or seizures. Symbiax may cause dizziness or drowsiness, so it's important to avoid alcohol or marijuana while taking this medication. Be cautious when performing tasks that require alertness, as this medication can affect your body temperature and make it harder to control. Teenagers and older adults may be more sensitive to certain side effects of Symbiax, such as weight gain, increased cholesterol levels, and drowsiness. Pregnant women should only use this medication if absolutely necessary, and breastfeeding mothers should consult their doctor before continuing to breastfeed while taking Symbiax. It's important not to stop taking Symbiax without the guidance of your doctor, especially if you are dealing with serious mental health conditions like depression or bipolar disorder. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, discuss the risks and benefits of using Symbiax with your doctor. Symbiax can interact with various medications, potentially changing how they work and increasing the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Fluoxetine, one of the drugs in Symbiax, can stay in your body for many weeks and may interact with many other medications. If you have taken this medication in the previous five weeks, consult your doctor or pharmacist before using any other medication. Some products that may interact with Symbiax are Fosamprenivir slash Ritonavir, Metaprolol, water pills, diuretics such as furosemide, other drugs that can cause bleeding slash bruising, drugs for high blood pressure, and medicines for Parkinson's disease. Taking MAO inhibitors with Symbiax may cause a serious, possibly fatal, drug interaction. Ask your doctor when to start or stop taking this medication. Symbiax may slow down the removal of other medications from your body, which may affect how they work. Aspirin can increase the risk of bleeding when used with Symbiax. However, if your doctor has directed you to take low-dose aspirin for heart attack or stroke prevention, you should continue taking it unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. The risk of serotonin syndrome slash toxicity increases if you are also taking other drugs that increase serotonin. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking other products that cause drowsiness. Cigarette smoking may decrease blood levels of Symbiax. This medication may also interfere with certain medical-slash-lab tests, possibly causing false test results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use Symbiax. If you or someone else has taken too much Symbiax and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, you should call for emergency help immediately. In the U.S., you can contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include a fast or irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness, seizures, and fainting. It's important to seek help right away if you suspect an overdose. It's important to have regular checkups with your doctor while taking Symbiax, including psychiatric and medical tests. These tests may include checking your liver function, blood sugar, weight, blood pressure, and blood cholesterol triglyceride levels. Make sure to attend all of your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more information. Remember not to share this medication with others. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for the next dose, just skip the missed dose and take your next dose as scheduled. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing Symbiax, make sure to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. It's important to store it in a place that's not in the bathroom and where children and pets can't reach it. Remember not to flush Symbiax down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed. When the medication is no longer needed or expired, make sure to properly dispose of it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. 
In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.